I've been talking about the need for us to escape from these Democrat-created hellholes all over the United States. And, of course, I'm not the only one that has thought about this. The Democrats are sick and tired of the environments that they have created, and they're starting to run for the hills as well. You see Tom Hanks and, and uh, many other uh, rich and liberal people bailing and running to uh, conservative states because they know that the conservatives are going to keep the police and they're going to keep their cities clean, unlike the Democrat-controlled cities, which have turned into sewers. And, you know, if only there was some way to keep them out, you know, or at least keep them from voting. It's like, yeah, you're welcome to come into our states, but you can't vote. Because if you vote, you're going to vote Democrat, and you're going to vote for more of the cesspools that you've created all over this country. How can we allow these people to run away from what they've created? The, the, the protesting, the looting, the rioting, the burning, the killing, the destruction, that's all the doing of the Democrats. So these people who have voted for uh, Democrat politicians who have created these environments which nobody wants to live in, they're running away from the places that they've created. So we really need to do something about this. I don't know what. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we want to be friendly to everyone. But when it comes down to the voting, I just, I just don't think we should allow them to vote for their policies. I mean, you think about it. Once they take over, once they complete their takeover, do you think they're going to allow Republicans to function in any way? They're going to ban us from working, ban us from schools, ban us from, you know, every parks, everything possible. And, I, you know, I'm not saying we should behave like them, but we should certainly take things into consideration for, for what they are. I mean, they, this is not going to get better. It's going to get worse. So what can we do about this? I, my suggestion, stop them from voting. You know, they come in and and uh, we look at their voting record and see who they voted for and say, yeah, well, okay, you don't have any voting rights. Um, I don't know. I mean, okay, I'm, I may be extreme. Um, maybe we only allow uh, uh, sort of uh, right-wing or moderate uh, parties to exist and, and let people vote for those too. As long as people don't vote for more crime, vote for more pollution, vote for more insanity, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, I'm just spitballing here. You know, I'm just sick and tired of these people. They, they vote for these politicians who create absolute hell in our, our states and our cities, and, and then they run away from it. Well, you created it. Why should you be allowed to run away from it? So what are we going to do about it? Well, we've got to do something. Go to petershin.com, and you can see all of the other stuff that I've done, the interviews, interviewed Mike Pence and many other senators, congressmen, pro-life leaders, Christian leaders, and so on. Over 500 videos, you know, the links are there, and uh, links to the other projects as well, like Pro-Life Unity, Cherish Life Ministries, and Pro-Life Unity is our core. Uh, there we say, united we stand, divided they die, and life and liberty. You know, you look at the headline, the tagline of Pro-Life Unity is life and liberty, and sometimes people say, well, why are you talking about these other issues? We just want to hear about pro-life issues. And I say, yeah, I hear you, but there are other issues, and all of these issues come together to form the pro-life issues eventually, in one way or another. The people who are pro-abortion are the people who are the, the, the Democrats living in our states, creating the hellholes that we live in. So life and liberty, I think both are important. And if we don't defend our own liberty, sometime, someday we're going to wind up on the chopping block. So let's stand up for our rights. United we stand, divided they die, and possibly divided we die.